Uh, speaking of, by the way, speaking of Pamela Anderson, I heard about this over the weekend. Her husband, uh, Tommy Jones, was arrested for Tommy Lee. <laughs> Here's what I know. It's Pamela Anderson. It's not Pamela Sue Anderson. It's Tommy Lee. It's not Tommy Lee Jones. All right. Okay. Here we go. All right. There you go. Pamela Anderson's husband, Tommy Lee, uh, was arrested for attacking a photographer in a uh, parking lot of a nightclub. And I think, oh, wow, well, it's a little... But, you know, seriously, take a second here to look at it from his side of the story. Here's a guy who wants to have sex with his wife. What's the matter with a little privacy? Of course he's going to be upset. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> wants to have sex with his wife on the parking lot of a nightclub. You see? So, that's, that's where the rub is. That's, that's where... Yeah, that's... that's oh, mean. now. Did I leave that out, too? Now you got it. Yeah, don't... See? Room. Now they applaud. They don't... They don't... We don't, want any, we don't want any beginners to hurt themselves on this one. No. Put, the, put this away, Paul, where the kids won't get hurt on that one. Take, take care of that Reach. one. Yeah. Yeah, Child lock. Child food. Ah. So, Tommy Lee... Tommy Lee is arrested in Los Angeles for beating up a photographer on a parking lot of a nightclub. You know what I'm saying, Paul? Yes, I heard about it. And so when something like this happens, I always try to look at it from his side of the story, you know, because you see the big headlines and you think... Oh, my God, what's happened? But you look at it from his side of the story, and they're on the parking lot. He wanted to have sex with his wife. The guy wanted a little privacy. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, many have had sex on the parking lot. Uh, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we did a little something uh, last week, I think it was. We went around the offices here at the Ed Sullivan Theater on the 14th floor, and we talked to the staff members of the, uh, the Late Show, and we asked them if they had a little show-and-tell. You know, like in, when you were in the school, Paul, a little show-and-tell once or twice a month whenever the teacher was too lazy to really prepare anything. Sure. You'd have the, the show-and-tell where you'd bring something in, and he would tell. So I thought, well, this would make a great idea if we go door-to-door -door in the office upstairs and find things that the uh, staff has to show-and-tell. And, tell. and uh, we, we started doing it and uh, spent about a day going door-to-door -door in the office. It, it didn't turn out uh, to be that great. Uh, you know, it uh, was not that, uh, not that interesting, actually. Uh, yeah. But we had invested a lot of time, a lot of man-hours, and a lot of videotape, so we're kind of, you know, we're stuck with the piece, and we thought, is there anything we can do to make this funnier. And then we had a great idea, so we added that to the little show-and-tell piece with the staff. We found a way, we think, to make the little show-and-tell funnier. So here now, take a look, watch. Zoe, uh, yeah. show-and-tell, what do you got? Um, I have this uh, gold wow. album CD from Big Head Todd and the Monsters. Man, look at that, Big Head Todd and the Monsters. Everything is funnier in Spanish. Zoe, ¿qué tienes ahí? Pues mira, chicos, aquí tengo este álbum de oro de Big Head wow. Thor and the Monsters. Lo conoces tú, ¿no? Ellos mira, aquí. Big Head Thor and the Monsters. Uh, I have a uh, Star Trek phaser. I was a huge fan of the uh -huh. original series, so I, I went out and got this. Yeah, that's cool. Freeze, you scrawny-ass monkey bastard. Oh, 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 no, don't shoot. No. Ah, ah, ah. Everything is funnier in Spanish. No te muevas, flaco moro bastardo. ¿Qué? No, no, ay, no dispares. No quiero morir. Ay, 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 ay. Rob, what do you got here? Uh, what are you, you going to do? I'm going to yeah. juggle it on my foot and then score a goal oh, through the door. Okay, he's going to juggle a soccer ball and then kick it right through the goal there. Okay, here, we here we go, go. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Goal. Everything is funnier in Spanish. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sí. Goal! What do you have there, Bill? I have an amethyst geo. Oh, let me see that. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Crystals. Mm. Yeah. They have. The crystals possess the magical powers. I didn't know this. Everything is funnier in Spanish. Hmm, tengo una piedra de amatista. Mira qué cristal tan precioso. Y como sabrás, posee poderes mágicos. Hmm, no, no lo sabía. Los cristales poseen poderes mágicos. ¿De veras? Do you have something for us? Yes, I just got engaged. Oh, how about that? Take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that beautiful ring. That's lovely. And uh, the man you're marrying, what is his name? His name is Eric. Eric, and, and this is right a photo here. of it? Oh, well, he's very, very, very handsome. Everything is funnier in Spanish. ¿Y cómo se llama tu futuro esposo? Se llama Eric. Aquí well, está. Eric, la foto. 
Wow, es un hombre muy, muy, muy guapo. This is one of my favorite uh, possessions. It is Rocket Barbie. Rocket Barbie. Presented to me by the Rockettes uh, the time that they did the show. Uh -huh. Everything is funnier in Spanish. Tú me haces reír al ver que tienes muñecas de niños pequeñas. Well, there you go. We certainly hope you've enjoyed the uh, staff show and tell tonight. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Everything is funnier in Spanish. Bueno, ahí lo tienen. Espero que le hayan gustado la sección de mostrar y explicar. Muchas gracias. Que pasen buenas noches. Everything is funnier in Spanish. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to do a commercial here on The Late Show. When we come back, Ricky Lake will join us. Nice to have you with us. Have you had a good weekend. show tonight, Ricky Lake, hmm. uh, also Jillian Anderson from the X-Files, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, and uh, David Sanborn, and earlier, if you're just joining us earlier, we learned something mighty, mighty important as you go through life. This is the kind of thing to hang on to, and it turns out, I don't know why, everything is funnier in Spanish, yeah. and so, when we learned that lesson, I said to myself, well, what the hell, let's see if we can't get our cue card kid, boy, guy, man, Tony yes. Inky Mendez, <laughs> to translate... That, the Tommy Lee uh, joke that I had trouble with in the beginning of the program, yeah. to see if it doesn't work there. Do you have the joke right there? Do you have it right here? C, he says. <laughs> Senor Letterman. All right, come right over here. All right, now here we go. Try it right here. That's the camera. The one with the red light is yeah, okay, the one that's okay, on. Okay, okay. okay. All right, here you go. Ready? All right. Sí, sí. Pues, uh, sí, hablando de Pamela Anderson. Hold this over here. Oh. Okay. Muy bueno. There you go. <laughs> how does that work? Is that how it goes? Sí. Yeah, okay. All right. Hablando de Pamela Anderson. Pero sé dos cosas, Pamela Sue Anderson, también hay Tommy Lee. No, no, no. Tommy Lee Jones. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. So, en el, en el... He's translating the mistake. How about this? I, I say he's translating the mistake. Excellent job. All right, go ahead. Yes, yes. En el weekend, weekend el, el esposo de Pamela Anderson, uh -huh. Tommy Lee, atacó right. un fotógrafo. Exactly. En el parking lot. Pero... <laughs> Y yo lo comprendo. Uh -huh. El señor quiere tener uh, sexo con su esposa y quiere un poco de privacidad. Uh -huh. Sí, eso es todo. Yeah. Eso es todo. Uh -huh. The Spanish word for sex is sexo? Sí, sexo. Sexo? Sí, sexo. I had no idea that the Spanish word for sex was sexo. <laughs> That's just what he said. Me, me, me. <laughs> uh, like jello? Is that what it is? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here in my right hand, I have a copy of tonight's top ten list. Let's go. Let's go.